This lecture series is mainly intended for ESC 2021 prelims exam but it is suitable for civil service prelims and mains and also Indian Railway Management Service. Here we will see one topic related to energy on scheme proposed by Ministry of Renewable Energy that is bundling scheme. So the name itself seems to be striking. So there can be direct questions like recently a time like a bundling scheme was in news. It is related to. So this is a possible question in both the exams, civil service and engineering service exam. Let us see the details of what is this bundling scheme. Bundling means combining energies from two industries. That is either wind or solar energy is being bundled with thermal energy and sold as a single product. So the users will get a single product but it will be a combination of wind and solar energy plus thermal energy. It is not like separate energy both are electricity only but how it is being acquired and given to the customers is the difference. This is necessary because if you are going for wind and solar energy alone there are problems like intermittency in supply because these sources are natural it is not available round the clock it is round the clock round the clock so the round the clock power is not available with renewable energy so making renewable energy uh, so making the power supply rtc it has to be combined with some other energy so thermal and water hydropower are more suitable for this because at any time we can start this plants and energy can be supplied now what is happening the discounts discounts distribution companies who is responsible for distributing electricity to the individual customers they will be purchasing power from the power generators they are purchasing power from wind and solar okay they will uh, the rate will be set set according to the power purchase agreements ppa is power purchase agreement they will be buying power from the wind and solar plant and they have to supply it what they have to do with this power because this power is intermittent that is not available around the clock so they have to purchase power from a thermal or hydro plant also so to supply to the customers so here they are at a disadvantage they have to carry out two purchases normally thermal power will be costlier Even though they get lesser uh, power at lesser cost from solar, they have to spend more money for the thermal power also. So it makes discounts operation very unattractive. They will incur loss. Once they are incurring loss, they are not giving back money to the wind and solar projects. Wind and solar projects, especially they are small projects, it will come under micro, small and medium industries. If they don't get their money back it is difficult for them to survive so they should get their cash back then only they can continue the operation because they don't have that much financial back uh, backup so these industries are also suffering also when they are supplying power to them their capacity utilization are also lesser they may not be taking power at power throughout like during peak hours only they may be buying the power so there is low capacity utilization of the plant so this renewable energy plants are suffering from the drawbacks like they are unattractive to the discounts they are not willing to buy the power because of the intermittency in supply and this results in low capacity utilization low payment of loans to banks so these industries will be taking loans from banks to start their production so once if they are not getting back money repayment of loans will also be affected so it will give rise to NPS non-performing assets of banks so they have to make it financially viable that is the problem with the renewable industry so in effect what will happen in paper renewable energy production will be at very less cost but in effect the cost of renewable energy production will become 
higher. At the same time, the thermal power plants, hydro power plants are not having these problems. Thermal power plants are having their own problems. They are under stress. Thermal power industry is under stress because its cost of production is higher compared to renewable energy. So they are lacking the power purchase agreements. So they are undergoing stress. Again, it will affect the economy because they will not be paying back the loans and NPS will rise and tariffs also higher. So when they go for auctions and all, while comparing the renewable power, they may be going for very less tariff. It will make again the thermal plants unattractive. So these sectors are facing problems. If you combine these two sectors, so we will make one intermediary. One intermediary between this disco and the plants. What this person or unit will do? They will buy power from both the parties and combine it as a single power and give. So the intermittency problems can be solved and they will supply it at a single tariff to the discount company so that they will be able to buy it and then distribute. So it is attractive to discounts. They have, don't have to bother about these things. They have to pay only one tariff <coughs> and it will be easier for them also. This tariff will be, be having breakup. It will be having breakup for the renewable power and the thermal power also. Thermal power also, there are two components. It will cover the fixed cost and also the variable cost. Because in thermal industry, the fuel is the main component, costlier component. As per the international market, the cost of the fuel changes. Fuel can be coal or <coughs> petroleum products. It changes. So to include the variable component of the cost the tariff will also be having a variable part so that the thermal power producers will not be facing the tariff problem so if the fuel cost is increasing they will also get back the corresponding price as a result total cost will be less than the thermal power so it will be advantageous to the customers also and it is mandated that 51 percentage of the total power should come from renewable energy industry so renewable uh, industry also given advantages here so it encourages people to come up with more renewable plan so that uh, so this will help all the people here renewable industry thermal industry and also the disco to improve their performance and here on time is coming you can take note of this time it is ram rate ram rate is the flexibility what is the flexibility in production Thermal power plants nowadays with the advanced technologies, the ramp rate has become higher. That is, they can start and end production at any time. Otherwise, it will take some time for uh, once the instruction is given that we need power, it will take some time for the production to start. According to the demand in the power, they can either scale down or scale up the production also. So, this time you can keep in mind. We have been getting question in the ESC about advantage and disadvantage of thermal power, solar power, biomass, etc. So this topic is also important. There can be question on bundling scheme itself or on the particulars of the energy products involved here. For more questions, please refer to the Hyperloop monthly magazine that is being published in our site. If you require any more topics to be covered in this lecture series, from the Hyperloop magazine, please let us know in the comments below.